Okay, the last thing that we want to do is look at this from a standpoint of sometimes the block and tackle can be re-rigged a different way. There are two ways always of doing it. And we call this being roved to advantage or being roved to disadvantage. Now what does that mean? It means that the pulling part that we're going to haul on, as you can see in this original setup that I put a couple of minutes ago, that this is actually roved to what we call disadvantage. In other words, the hauling part goes to the fixed block first. That's the one that's tied to the overhead. Okay. Right next to it, I've drawn a, the same system, the same two double shiv blocks I've put to advantage. And why is it to advantage? Well, notice now that the hauling part okay, goes to the movable block first. Here I am and I'm hauling away. Okay. And I'm pulling, um, again, the hauling part, but notice that it leads to the movable block first. And you're saying, well, okay, but why does that help me mathematically? Well, here's how it helps. Okay, let's do the numbers here. Force, okay, again, is equal to weight divided by mechanical advantage. Now, we still have the same weight, 500 pounds, but has the mechanical advantage changed? Yes, it has, and this is why. Again, if you remember, how do we count what the mechanical advantage is? The mechanical advantage is always counted by the number of falls at the movable block. So if I go back and count my falls, I have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. By flipping the system over and having the hauling part come from the movable block, I've added one more fall. Therefore, it's an advantage to rig it this way. That's simply where advantage and disadvantage come from, those terms. So now if I put five into my formula, because that's the new mechanical advantage, I divide five into 500, and what do I get? That's pretty straightforward. Okay, we're pretty smart folks. And so the force is equal to 100 pounds. Now in this situation, I've only got to pull at 100 pounds, okay, in order to facilitate that. And whoops, I drew my arrow the wrong way. We're right here, okay? And when we're at advantage, okay, love modern whiteboards, okay, correct our mistake. We're pulling here, and we only have to pull at 100 pounds when we're rigged to advantage. So this is the difference between disadvantage. You can't always do this. Sometimes your rigging situation constrains you to only doing it one way. But the key here is, is if you've got the opportunity to do it, you want to put the most amount of falls at the movable block. This creates this one higher mechanical advantage, which reduces our force. So this is the difference between disadvantage and advantage.